Hello there, minions of technology, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. I have been playing this game behind the scenes, and I have not shared it with you because, honestly, I do not play this game in a way that I think you guys would find entertaining. I basically play this game when I want to stop and smell the roses. <laughs> and apparently I got the hiccup while we'll making a video. I got the hiccups while we'll making a video. I, I hate when I get the hiccups while we'll making a video. I am going to land at Moss and Dock. Once we get locked in here, then we'll do our... Get the business out of the way, and we'll take on a job and do the job together. While we are doing that job, I want to get you updated on some stuff that's going on in my life. That way you're aware when it comes up, and it doesn't throw anyone off kilter. Because it's kind of thrown me off kilter a little bit, but we'll talk about that here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and prepare for landing here. Can I get this one thing out of the way? My marriage is awesome, for the record. Okay. Everyone's like, oh, he has an amazing wife. And he didn't leave his wife or anything. Like, no, I'm not Jason Momoa. I didn't leave what's her face. Uh, we, we have an amazing marriage, and the only reason I'm going to survive half the stuff that I'm going to talk to you about is because she is close to me, and I love her with all my heart and might. She is incredible. So, no, that is... <laughs> definitely not the issue. My health is the issue, but she's not the issue. So as soon as we get landed here at Moss and Dock, um, it, we will uh, do the important details of saying thank you to all the amazing people who support this channel and support clean gaming. And then I will get you updated on the other stuff that I have no desire to deal with whatsoever. But yeah, unfortunately, time is running short. And if I don't do it, it's going to make me do it anyway. So... Once we get landed here, if you have never tried Elite Dangerous, this game is so fun. I do play in the open scenario world where there are other real pilots flying around as well, so you have the chance to get into fights. I'm not, like, super upgraded or anything like that. I just enjoy doing, um, the word I look for is I enjoy doing uh, courier services. So I just enjoy basically taking off, pointing in a direction, landing... And I have all the auto settings turned off. Anything that has to do with um, auto landing or auto launching, I prefer to do all that myself. I just find that the most fun part of this. Uh, simulators, to me, are, are terrible. If they don't allow you to land your airplane or whatever you're driving or flying or riding, if they don't allow you to actually use that to its fullest potential. I hate simulators. Um, like, I've, I know some, like, super fighting simulators where you're in F1, F-16s and you're flying around at Mach whatever and you're attacking people and whatever. But the one thing that you didn't do was um, get to try to land on an aircraft carrier and stuff like that. To me, that's frustrating to no end. So, uh, like I said, all the automatic settings are turned off, so we're going to land here in just a minute. And I'm going to do it all myself. Okay, thank you so much. I love your accent. Request approved. Set down on landing pad one six. Okay, great. So we're gonna go and start by trying to find the entrance to this thing, which I believe is probably up here. So I'm gonna use some of my thrusters to kind of jet me around this thing. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, that's the landing pad right there. Well, not the landing pad, the entrance into the gate. So I'm just throttling up right now so that I can point my nose in the right direction. So we'll see the entrance here in a half a second. There it is. There we go. Now we slow down. We slow way down. Let's get the nose down. So I'm dropping the whole ship downward right now while accidentally going backwards, which was not my intent. Let's climb it back up. Dude, 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 don't make me look bad, dude. Don't make me look bad. There we go. Landing at pad 16. All right, you gotta watch out because other players are coming in and out of here too. There's pad 12. You gotta kind of find your pad real quick. So pad 42, pad five, pad 12, pad 16, over here. So we're going to go over this way, landing gear down, aim for it so that we're looking at the numbers. Landing gear deployed. Now 
I'm gonna scoop my nose over this way and scoop my nose back that way and slow down here. Okay, now we're gonna land. Oh, this game is so much fun, and 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 if you enjoy it, let me know. I don't expect you will, because I play this game in a very boring way. Like I said over and over again, it's the truth. I play it in a very very boring way. So. Go, and let's do this right about there. I'm very picky. Right there should be just fine. Let's go ahead and send her on down. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, let's re refuel while we're here. Oh, apparently I need to repair something. I'm not sure why that is. Let's go ahead also while we're here and find a job. So we're going to go to the mission board and see what jobs are available. So let's see. Mine two units. Uh, source and return four units of uranium. Two units of fruit and vegetables here in the Dromi system. That's kind of interesting. I'll grab this one just in case. Um, let's see if there's other options here. Uranium. All right. Conflict training courier job for Orna. That's not bad. I think I've made it to Orna successfully before. Let's see if there's anything else here. Conflict training, interact, hub. Alright, so these must mean hubs. Means we're going on a planet. We're making a delivery on a planet. Uh, courier job available. Requirements not met. Atkins hub in the Dromi system. I was just there. I will accept this job. Unless I still have it and I just didn't turn in the money for it. Maybe that's what I did. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go back and back. And let's go do these missions, or at least one of these missions. And then I'll update you on what's going on. So let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way here really quick first. Um, a humongous, humongous thank you to my amazing, amazing, amazing legacy historians. That's dyslexia. Tony Allen, Sean Hammond. Jack Herman. A humongous thank you to these amazing people who support the cause uh, by paying the highest tier of our channel uh, to get their name shouted out, but more importantly to support the cause of clean gaming here on YouTube. Also, a humongous thank you to all of my other amazing people. If you want to become a member yourself, just please hit that join button. Subscribe at any tier. Your name will be added to one of these two lists, and if you are a legacy historian on this list, then I will shout you out here on the channel and I would be honored to do so. Thank you so very much to everyone who believes in clean gaming here on YouTube. And finally, please follow my social medias uh, where if you don't get an update on when a new video comes out or when a video that's been pre-scheduled comes out, or maybe you are a legacy member and you want to know when new pre-content comes out that you can watch that no one else gets to see yet. This is the place to do that. Follow me on First Tim 412 an official underscore legacy studio, and that is what you need to know. All right, my friends, back into the game here. Let's get you updated. Right now, as I sit here, right here, I have a weird, irky feeling. It's it's very hard to explain. It's like something's hanging off of my sternum, that, that bone that sits right here. It feels like something's hanging there very uncomfortably. And I've had that for a while, and it... I've had it for about a month now, maybe a little less, and it ebbs and flows. It gets better and worse as the day goes on, and when I become more anxious, it hurts more. When I become more stressed, it hurts more. So I've, I've gotten this feeling out of nowhere. Let's go ahead and take off here, and I'll continue my conversation with you on this, because honestly, that's why I'm playing this game, and it's just to play something fun while I try to update you on this health thing going on right now. So let's go ahead and launch. I'm going to turn my ship around and we're going to get out of here. And of course I got to do it manually, so please bear with me as I try to talk to you about it. So, I had this scare, you know, of my chest. And you got to understand a little bit of my background, um, or my family's background. Uh, usually heart disease and things like that skip generations. So you need to be concerned about your health if say your grandfather uh, has had a health concern 
Well, my grandfather died at the age of 42. I never got to meet him. He died of heart disease, and not heart disease, but a heart, uh, a heart attack, unfortunately. So I'm 34 now, I think, 33, 34. I don't know how old I am. Um, and I know that when my dad um, got to the point where he did, uh, when he got to 42, I remember him suddenly feeling very free and not fearful of all the stress a anymore because he beat his dad, you know? And, and because he beat his dad, that was amazing. And so I have to beat his dad now. That's kind of how I feel about it. Um, and so when these weird chest pains come up and things like that, it just drives my anxiety through the wall. So I went to the hospital yesterday and talked with my doctor. I was not sure what I was walking into, um, as no one would be in this situation. And uh, I sat down with her and I told her some specifics. I'm going to give you a lot of specifics here. I hope you don't mind, and I'm sorry if you're a little squeamish. I'm trying to not be overly detailed, but I do like to share my life. I do vomit on, <laughs> I do vomit on people on kind of the things I'm dealing with. So, um, one of the things I've been dealing with, well, several things that I've been dealing with for the past maybe 10, 15 years, one of them is the fact that sometimes I can eat perfectly fine and take down foods without a problem. Other times I'll be eating foods and they'll just get stuck. And everyone's like, well, do you chew your foods? Trust me, I chew my foods. I chew my foods like crazy and, and I do my very, very best and yet food will still get stuck in my esophagus. There are multiple conditions where that can become a concern very, very easily. Um, and when that those conditions come up, all you can do about them is try and avoid the foods or whatever. Uh, one of the things that you can do uh, is have surgery where they go into your throat and stretch your esophagus. Um, and that might be something they might need to do to me. Anything that has anyone going down my throat for any reason just sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> Truth be told. Uh, the thing I hate the most about getting sick is sore throats. It is the most painful feeling to me. I detest getting sore throats. I would gladly deal with a hard cough or a crazy sneezing fit. I'd take, I, I'd take hiccups. You know, I'll take anything outside of a sore throat for days on end. Because when I get a sore throat, nine times out of ten, I get strep. And it's it just does numbers to me, and I hate it. So anyone going down my throat for any reason, it's just not a win. So I've put this off for like 10, 15 years. But when I go to them and say, I, I snore incredibly badly, so much so I, I haven't been able to sleep with my wife in forever uh, not to mention we don't have a basement which had our master bedroom um, that certainly plays a role as well um, and then also at the same time I just I can't eat very well and sometimes foods like steaks and things will get stuck and such um, I got all these things going on thankfully when they listen to my heart and check me out they say you sound great so I don't think you're dealing with a cardiac issue, which puts my heart at ease because we think about my, my, my grandfather. But the direction that they're going towards now is acid reflux, which I, I already deal with, like, acidity. You know, you're laying in bed and you kind of get that, that acid from your stomach and your throat and stuff like that. So I kind of already saw that coming, but I didn't quite think about the idea that, oh, that could actually do damage to my esophagus as it comes up and goes down. And so maybe that's what's going on. So this next Wednesday, this next Wednesday at 10 o'clock, I'm going to have something called a barium swallow done, which basically means I get to swallow a bunch of tasteless, disgusting um, powders, apparently, which I'm not looking forward to at all. Uh, but those different consistencies are going to tell them if I'm dealing with GERD, if I'm dealing with other things of that nature that are stopping me from being able to, to eat. Um, and we'll tell them what's going on. The next step, if they cannot get any good results out of the swallow tests, uh, the barium swallow, then they got to do a scoop, which is taking the camera down and looking through things going from the top down. 
which just adds to my uh, uh, anxiety of things that I really don't want to experience. Let me go ahead and call in a landing uh, here for uh, Muckerjee. Alright, docking pad number three for landing. We're going to go ahead and start making our way around the top side of this so we can start looking for the land landing pads, which are usually on the opposing side of this. So I'm using my thrusters below to push my whole ship upwards like this. So it just makes it easier to quickly get up to the top and hopefully start seeing the numbers that I need to see. So is that number three? What number is that one? That is number three. So we'll go ahead and turn this way. Okay. I'm going to slow back here as I get lined up. Landing gear down. And we'll start moving in for landing. So, anyway, you guys know that I actually just had my first surgery last year, and I was actually supposed to have another surgery last year as well. Um, I had my wisdom teeth removed. I had all four of them removed. That was quite an experience. I have videos of the experience here on YouTube if you want to see them. Um, and it just talked about my healing process and some of the things that I dealt with. Um, maybe they'd be helpful to you if you get your wisdom teeth pulled. Um, the other thing that um, I was supposed to have done was I was supposed to have my gallbladder removed. Uh, they found sludge in my gallbladder, and more importantly, they found a polyp in my gallbladder. And the goal is to get it out as soon as possible. Well, we were going to get it out last year, but then my basement fell apart. And because the basement fell apart, then I wasn't able to get it done, so wifey and I had to put it off. Uh, which we hated. Um, so they're assuming right now that that is actually becoming even more exaggerated right now. And they say that they want to go in and remove it as quickly as humanly possible. Problem is the money side of things. We're still waiting on some things money-wise. So welcome to Muckerjee. Uh, we're here at Muckerjee. We're going to go to the mission board and do our drop-off for the courier side of things. Here we go. There we are. Now, while we're here at Muckerjee, we'll make sure that everyone else is taken care of. So, uh, we'll go through and see if anyone else has any jobs that they need done. So, we'll check the different companies. Here's requirements not met. Omega. Massacres. Massacres. How about Pilots Federation? Anything else? Sourcing. Takedowns. Interactions with hub access terminal data link. But that's in Sharar, which I'm not interested in doing. It's just too far away from my little ship. Uh, let's see if there's anything else here. Uh, take down known pirate sources. Interact with the hub. Friendly. Requirements not met. I don't know why um, the requirements, requirements would not be met on this one. Unless it... Or this one, for that matter. Oh, Matet. I don't think I want to go to Matet. I think that one's a little too far away. So, we're done here. We're off to the next mission. Let's go ahead and launch. We'll uh, wait to reload, and then we'll move on back, I think, to the uh, um, Dromi system and start looking at sourcing the fruits that we need. And I think that that needs to be done. Whoa. Okay. I think that needs to be done in the Dromi system. So, we're going to go ahead and take off here, landing gear up. We'll go ahead and get the engines going. So we can pull away from the ship here and get out of mass lock, and then we'll uh, make our way back to Dromi. So let's go to navigation. Hiccups. So many hiccups. Going back to the Dromi system. All right. So we'll aim towards Dromi. Uh, it's back behind us. That's fine. Start speeding up here so that when we can, we're out of mass, la mass lock. So we're good here. Aim for Dromi. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't mean to get back into mass lock again. So as soon as we get out, then we'll do a jump warp and uh, head back to the Dromi system. Once we get there, we'll do some more work. So I need to get the gallbladder out as soon as humanly possible. And my doctor is saying I'm not sleeping well. I am always tired. And she is assuming that it's mainly because of my, because of my gallbladder. I've wanted to get it out for a long time. I'm tired of all this stuff. I'm tired of not being me. Uh, so hopefully we can get this taken care of and done with um, soon. I am 
we're awaiting some financial things first. Once we get those in line, then we're looking at doing that. I think we're hoping at June-ish or something, which seems so far away. I wanted to get done as soon as possible, but it seems so far away. Um, it's just time, you know. It's time to it's time to call this quits and and find some peace in life, and also find some energy. I have no energy, and when I need to be playing games for you guys, I'm just not finding that energy anymore. It just really, really stinks. All right, really quickly here, uh, let's go to our transactions. Source and retu return, so we need to go to our galaxy map. We're looking for fruits and vegetables, I think. So what we can do is go here, scroll down. Uh, we're going to clear all, and all I want to find is under foods, Fruits and vegetables, and I want to see where it tells me to go. Looks like Matet is the only option I have. Have I been to Matet? Orna might have some. But, honestly, Matet looks closer. I'm going to try my luck with Matet. How far is it? What's it say about Matet? Oh, it's only seven light years. I can do that. Yeah, we'll go to Matet. Which means I probably should have taken that other job from Matet. But yes, we'll be fine. Uh, let's point towards Matet and get on the road. Did I pull it up? I don't know if I pulled it up. Did I lock it in? I might not have locked it in. So we'll have to lock it in real quick. Um, I don't think... Oh, wait, what's this one? Oh, uh, it's drone. Drone me three. Never mind. Uh, so let me go back into my galaxy map here. Um, oosh. Open galaxy map. Uh, so Matet... And we're going to go here. There we go. And let's go ahead and start heading towards Matet. Resume. Okay. Now we're going to be uh, locked up here in a half a second. So let's point our way towards Matet. Oh, must be behind me, I guess. Ah, there it is, Matet. Seven light years away. I'll have just enough gas to get me there. Well, I mean, I'll probably have more than enough, but all the same. All right, we're at a mass lock. Let's jump it. Here we go. Anyway, I have a lot of stuff coming up that I am truly not looking forward to. It's got me incredibly anxious. Um, what this means for the future, probably not much. I've been living with this for a while now, and I'm sure you guys haven't quite seen any of it unless you've been in my personal channel and, and you're a joined member and you're getting some of my stories as I talk with you and just share with you guys my friends in the background um, but yeah I'm, I'm dealing with some stuff and I'm not enjoying it right now so let's uh, get let's get this figured out next um, it is my hope and desire to quickly get all this out of the way and hopefully start feeling like myself again so we can keep moving forward on stuff whoa Sorry, didn't mean to... I just realized my camera wasn't looking too good there. Um, yeah, like I said, I just want to get out of all this stuff and get back to the normal me, and which I know is much more energized, hopefully getting more sleep. I will gladly do whatever it takes to snore less, and I know part of that is weight loss. A major part of that is weight loss, and I've been trying to do a little bit of that. Um, I'm actually... I've actually replaced several of my meals with... Uh, stuff like Soylent and protein shakes and things. So I'm trying to do stuff. It's not working great, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers unless you go all in. And right now I haven't quite gone all in on the weight loss side of things yet. So anyway, just please be patient with me, gang. I mean, that is just some of the stuff I'm dealing with. I don't want you to think that uh, anything's going to slow down here. I really don't think anything's going to slow down. Uh, but when you're going, well, why hasn't he played more of the game that we want to see him play? Honestly, if I'm not feeling completely myself, I just, I turn off, you know? And I, I want to play games that allow me to enjoy myself. And some of the missed games and things, like we're in Mist 4 right now, and, and its controls are just very awkward to deal with. I don't, I don't enjoy the controls of Mist 4. Um, and most people seem to agree with me about that. And so it's a game where I look forward to playing it for the puzzle side of things, but I, I just... But I have to be in the mood to play it right, you know? Just like you would be in anything. I mean, if someone came to you and said, Hey, play a board game with me, 
and you weren't totally on board for playing that board game, then you're, you're not going to want to touch it, you know? And that's kind of how I am. All right. Coelho Station. We'll get landed here, see if they have any fruits. If they do, we'll buy them up here, and uh, then we'll take them back, and then we'll finish off our video with that. We're 27 minutes in already uh, for just doing a couple courier jobs and boring you guys half to death with stuff that you don't care about whatsoever. I think that we've done our fair job. Eh. And by the way, thank you for everyone who supported this channel for clean content. I'm serious. That does mean a lot to me. Let me pop up that social media button here so you guys can uh, follow us on social media so you get notifications. And also, I just have some fun on some of those. I do drawings on the official underscore legacy studio uh, Instagram. Uh, and on my Twitter, I enjoy just putting up stupid stuff every now and then. So, we're not quite close enough to make a call in yet. So, I can't land until I've... Uh, got an approval for landing, so I'm just trying to speed up here a little bit to get us within 7,500 kilometers. And once I do that, then I'll be able to uh, put in my request. So right about now, technically, I should be able to do it. So let's go to navigation. No, contacts. Uh, getting a little too close. All right, Coelho Station, quest docking. Docking Bay 28. So we're going to go in here and try and find Docking Bay 28. We're under 100 knots or whatever speed system there is. So we'll just follow this guy in. I try to stay on one side of this because it's kind of like, okay, I'll stay in the right lane. If you stay in the right lane, it will all be okay. And then we have to very, very quickly find our parking spot, like, immediately, which is very, very challenging. So, as soon as I see a number, I see, I think, 19 over there. So, I'm looking to see another number. All right, that's 30. 20, not, 28, there it is, right there. So, we're going to go right for 28. Let's rotate around here and hope that we don't crash into that guy. We're going to go over him. Doing okay. Holding 29 knots, which is fine. Okay. Is there a ship already on my docking area? Oh, or is this it? This must be it. I almost went to 30. Okay. Let's rise up here just a little bit. Nice thing is, you can shut off all your motors all at the same time by hitting X. So I just get close to that circle, and I smack X right there, just like that. And then I kind of stretch out, strengthen out the nose. I'll back up here just a touch. And we're good. We can just drop right down, and it'll catch me, and we're going to be good. Perfect. So let's refuel. Contact. Repair whatever damage I got out there while I was in space. Probably like paint damage. We're going to go to our commodities market, agriculture. And we're looking for fruits and veggies. Here we go. I don't remember how many we were supposed to get. So before I do that, let me do this. I'm going to exit out of here. I need to go to my mission board. No, excuse me, not my mission board. Um, hold, please. I need to go here. Oh, two, 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 two. Never mind. We're gonna go get two of them. So, sort airport services, commodities. Now uh, we're gonna go for fruit and vegetables. We just gotta buy two units. Okay. We should be good. Cargo pack capacity has two of eight in there right now, which is great. Uh, that is all we need right now. So let's exit out of here. Um, anything in their mission board for us to take back? So we look through here. Here's a courier job for Orna. I'll take it, just in case. Let's see if they have anything else. Courier job for Orna. Is it? I think I already took this one, or there was one more for Orna. Courier job for Sharor. We'll skip that one. Take down known pirate. Uh, liberate, no. Massacred, no. No, no, courier job available. Can't do that one, apparently. All right, so we've gotten everything that we can do here. We've re 
uh, refilled our ship. So we're ready to get out of here. So let's go ahead and launch away. They're going to turn us around and we're going to get out of here. And like I said, we'll do this one last mission, uh, getting everything back uh, to where we were, and we'll be done. You can see everyone coming in the way that they are, so... you got to kind of dodge as you make your way out. Oh, gosh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> There's a magic trick for you. Trust me, I'm doing it. Okay. That guy got close to me. I'm sorry, I did not mean to leave my social medias up for so long. There we go. All right. I don't notice things until it's too late. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head on back here. So navigation to the Dromi system. Okay. And let's go ahead and point ourselves towards Dromi. We're out of mass lock. So let's go ahead and hit our frame shift drive. We're out of here. Ah. <sighs> Like I said, this game is, is so much fun, and I don't do anything that puts me in danger. If I get attacked, it's because someone else is attacking me. Uh, I, I enjoy the fact that you can kind of choose your own way. Do you want to take on missions that are dangerous? Do you want to take on cha challenges that are further away? Do you want to take on challenges where you have to get into a, um, a landing craft and actually go along the planet's surface of wherever you're trying to go? I, I love these kinds of games that, that think past what other games think towards. So, Moss and Dock is where we're going to go next, I guess. Um, so, we'll go towards Moss and Dock first, figure out what we're doing there, and then we'll go from there. Because apparently I forgot something at Moss and... Alright, so we're still in jump drive, which is good. 53 light cycles away, or whatever LS stands for. Right, we get into the kill him. No, okay, we're gonna pass it by accident again, I guess, huh? Yep, we're gonna pass it again. Y you really don't know if you're going too fast or not to to meet it until it says slow down. You're like, well, I guess I lost it. See, right now my chest is tightening up, and I and and when this first started, I literally thought it was because I was sitting at my desk playing these games too much, because it really started kicking up since playing games with you guys here on YouTube. And, and I've tried everything. Underneath this chair, I have a very large workout ball. That was my wife's that she, she used for a very short period of time uh, for, like, yoga. And so I was like, okay, well, if she's not going to use it, maybe I should try sitting on it and sitting up straighter and see if that would help and pull my chest out a little bit. And maybe my fat is just, maybe I'm getting fatter and maybe my fat is digging into my sternum or, or something's just causing this pressure. I didn't know what it was. Um, and it just seems to flex. It seems to get worse at certain times and better at others. You might have noticed I've been trying to sit up straighter recently, and, and as much as I would like to say it's because I want to look good on camera, but to be completely honest, it's because it, it's so uncomfortable. It just feels wrong. It feels awkward, and I hate it, you know? So, uh, trust me, I, I, lo I, I like my doctor a lot, okay? Uh, Kai is an incredible doctor. She does fantastic work. She has helped my wife and I both in tremendous ways, uh, got us both on some meds that have just changed our our personal lives in wonderful ways. We're incredibly thankful to her. Uh, but yeah, that I don't like seeing her. <laughs> uh, I, I, I appreciate her when I see her, but I'd much rather see her in a supermarket than, at the, than actually at the hospital for Pete's sake, you know? Uh, but she is an incredible doctor. I would suggest her to anyone, it, you know, if need be. Um, alright, Jade, disengage. We're coming in here to, to Moss in here. Okay, let's go ahead and get lined up here while we're waiting to get in close enough to make our call in. Alright, Commander Shreddy Bear is calling in a landing for Moss and Dog. Three one. 
Commander Shreddy Bear landing Moss and Dock, Bay 3 1. Looks like there might be a ship coming out of there, maybe even two of them. So we'll try to be careful with them as they make their way out. Okay, went a little too low. And like I said, you can set this to all automatic and do it yourself, but I prefer to land everything manually. That's the best way to play this game. Oh, they're entering in too. Okay. Looking for something. That's 12 over there. Let's see what's on the other side. Slowing down a bit here. 25, 31, right over here. Okay, we're going right this way. Landing gear down. All right, let's get lined up. Oh, like I said, my doctor absolutely rocks. She's taking great care of my wife and I, but I just don't like doctors. I don't like the idea that there's something wrong with me. My dad has barely gone to the doctor in his life. I mean, and he's been in the military 21 years, and I mean, his dad is the one who passed away of a heart attack, unfortunately, but... You know, he, my dad's pretty awesome when it comes to his health, you know. And it's like, well, you'd kind of hope you get that in your genes. I got his hair cut. <laughs> my dad hasn't quite given up on his hair yet, though he probably should. Uh, <laughs> I gave up on mine uh, a while back. I'm trying to do things to fix it now, but yeah. All right, let's see what's going on in Starport Services here so that we can move on to uh, some of our other areas. So Mission Board... Uh, source and return two units uh, that's ongoing so we can go ahead and deliver two items and complete the task wasn't worth very much money but that's okay perfect there we go alright now we can go ahead we've already fueled up and I can get out of here but that is going to do it for me here I do hope that you've enjoyed this gameplay um if you did enjoy it and you want to see more of it, and maybe I just utilize this game to talk about things, I don't know. Uh, I do like having the opportunity to be more personal with you guys. Now, I know if we're being completely honest, you don't, you, you want to look at a creator and go, this creator is so sure of themselves and so prideful and so cool. I mean, when you look at guys like Jack Septaguy and Markiplier and guys like that that don't make the cleanest games, you can tell, well, Jack Septiguy is much more honest about the things that he's going through um, than I think Markiplier is. Markiplier is just annoying half the time. But at the same time, he uses that as part of his shtick. You know, you appreciate him because of that shtick. Uh, and you make he makes you feel like he's powerful and certain of himself. And that's just not something I've been doing. Honestly, I've just been more honest with you guys recently, telling you about how my health is, how I've been feeling things going on in my life so it's much more personable which could be a good thing could be a bad thing so whatever the case may be leave comments down below you know hit that like button and subscribe of course uh and support the cause if you like clean content it really would help me if you consider donating to the cause monthly um there's been some really amazing people who support this and when they go the extra mile the way that they do um it truly is incredible to to see how much they appreciate the yeah, having early access to some of this content and we'll keep making content as time goes. So once again, my friends, just be patient with me as I go through the next couple of months, which may include a surgery, a whole bunch of tests, and a bit of rigmarole that I'm just not looking forward to. I'm sure you're in the same boat. You're probably dealing with all the same kind of stuff. And this is just all stuff I hoped I'd never have to deal with, and I could just sit here and smile and make you laugh, and we all have fun together. But reality takes over sometimes, doesn't it? I love you guys. Keep it crispy. First Tim 412, you are my favorite people on planet Earth doesn't matter if you're subscribing or paying. The fact that you're here watching this video uh, means a lot. And can I say, pretty please, leave a comment down below if you watched this video all the way to the end. I, for some reason, that just hits me just as much as you saying that I made you laugh. Um, if I've made you laugh today, let me know down below. If you watched all the way to the end of the video, let me know down below. For some reason, those people really just touch my heart when when I know that you've done that. That means a lot to me. That helps me out with the algorithm and oh, so much other stuff. All right, I'm out of here. Keep it crispy. First time 412. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Run that outro.